what's up guys it's your boy Jose Zaniga for today we're doing another shopping vlog this was gonna be interesting so if you guys remember not too long ago I did a hype beast versus packs on where I took a four thousand dollar outfit and then a hundred dollar packs on outfit and showed you that you don't need to pay all that much to look that good well I want to do that again but this time with something more dressy today I'm gonna go to Hugo Boss then I'm gonna go to Walmart and show you that you can look just as stylish even if you're broke Let's get into it. All right, so the first store up, that's right, Hugo Boss. Now, they're a little bougie in there, so I'm gonna have to be sneaky, but we're gonna go in there, try to compile one look, and do the same at Walmart. Let's go. So I'm thinking maybe like a polo shirt or a short sleeve. What do you think, something like this? I don't want any branding. I think branding like that, it just needs to be like basic, something simple. Simple blue shirt, no branding. But so far, this one, this is the best one. I should do two, right? Like a casual outfit. This is like linen pants. They're slim fit. Let's see how much are these. $200. So, this is right here is like 400 bucks. Casual outfit. Yeah, I think the navy one's better. Darker colors look better usually, like especially if it's cheaper clothing. Something darker. So just walked out of the Hugo Boss store and, ah, guys, I spent close to $900 in two different outfits. Literally just a pair of pants and, a, and, a sh and two shirts. And there's nothing against the quality. The quality of this stuff is amazing. As soon as I threw it on, it, it just felt good. But $900 for two outfits, I think you can make smarter decisions. So now we're gonna go to Walmart. I'm gonna show you that you really don't have to spend that much to actually look sharp as long as you have great tailoring. And that's something that I'm doing both with Hugo Boss and Walmart. My Hugo Boss pants, I left them at the store. They're getting tailored right now. And then the, whatever I buy at Walmart, I'm taking them to my personal tailor to get them tailored and showing you with the power of the right of precise fit, anything can look good. Let's go. And we are at Walmart. One tip that I'm gonna give you if you wanna try this at Walmart and dress good from Walmart, go to the biggest one that you have locally to you because that one will have the most options. This one, as you can see, we got a lot to play with. So we're gonna try to recreate both outfits here and see what we can do. Hell yeah. Uh, I think I bought a it was white, right? Yeah, these run big, so anything in Walmart that isn't slim fit, buy a size down so it can fit a little bit more trim and then the tailor won't have to tailor so much off the fabric. So one of the outfits was using blue slacks. So first we need to find some blue slacks that will match this. Okay, so just like I figured, there aren't any slim fits that I can use. These gray ones are gonna be the closest ones to the uh, Hugo Boss ones. So I'm gonna try to get it as slim as possible by sizing down. So I also did buy a dress shirt from uh, Hugo Boss, which was amazing. I think it also cost like two, three hundred dollars. Uh, these are thirteen sixty eight, believe it or not. And again, the fit will not be there as long as I get it tailored right. You won't notice the difference. So now I'm gonna go pay for this, and after that, we're gonna go get everything tailored. So I got my Walmart stuff, but to even make it remotely as good as Hugo Boss, fit is crucial. So I came to my local tailoring shop to get everything that I bought from Walmart, since it's a very classic fit. Taylor. As you can see, the shirt's a little bit wide here and want to make it look more trim, and the pants are extremely baggy. So we're going to get them all tailored to look a lot better. Okay. These are very baggy from here, so probably start the tapering a little bit higher. Bit than higher. Okay. And then same 13 at the bottom. 13, okay. And then hem it up to, for no break. Okay. I don't need to put the other one, or you need to put because no. the picture. No, no, no. And then the shirt, just the, shirt. The, the mid section is the size two. Yeah, just the, no, just yeah, just the size, not the arms. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing, nice and trim. That's it. That's it. Your daddy come in here too. Can these pockets be taken off without any damage? Take off, I can. And it will, and it's not gonna damage the shirt? No, because you need to take it very slow for after wet for press. Can you take can you take yes, it off? I take it off. Thank you. To be on the nice. Yeah. Alright boys, so we are finally back from the tailor. I got my stuff tailored from Hugo Boss and my stuff tailored from Walmart. And honestly, I tried both on. It's a little shock. Before we get into that, I do have to thank our sponsor, Rose Gold and Black, for making today's video possible because that's what it's all about. 
This is why I love our brand sponsor, Rose Gold and Black, and I urge you guys to support them as well. Not only do they have quality, stylish pieces, but they support our content and all of our ideas. So when I told them I wanted to do this video of showing you guys how even with little to no money, you could still look sharp and stylish within seconds. They said, hell yeah. Why? Because that's what Rose Gold and Black is all about. If you've never heard of Rose Gold and Black before, basically it's an, a men's accessory company. But the reason why they're all about that is all their stuff is super stylish and affordable to ensure that you can also look good, look extravagant, look high status without having to be rich or spending a lot of money. Like I mentioned, Rose Gold and Black is a men's accessory company, so they do focus in on bracelets and necklaces for guys. They have a wide range of styles and they're constantly updating their website with new products all the time. So I urge you, if you haven't been on the site anytime lately, I recommend you guys go check it out. There's gonna be a link down below, but that's not your regular link. That's a special link that they create just for us. It's a special page, some might even say top secret, that has a massive discount on it. So if you go to the side and you see something you like, click it and buy it. The discount's already automatically applied if you click that link below. Now, like I said, they have a wide range of styles and tons to choose from, whether you're into street style or dressy like we're doing in today's video. The jewelry from Rose Gold and Black most likely will fit any of those aesthetics. So if you want something that fits perfect, looks good, and is affordable, what are you waiting for? Go check them out. Now I wanna hop into exactly what I got from each store and show you how they both look once you throw them on. Okay, so starting with Hugo Boss. So this is the stuff that was not tailored. It fit good right out the box. The first one was this white polo, just something simple. Total cost for this polo was 125 bucks. Then I went with some gray trousers. Again, these surprisingly, not only do they feel really high quality, of course, because you know, it's Hugo Boss, but they fit perfectly straight off the rack. It required no tailoring. And if, in case you're interested, this is the slim fit model. It's either the Kato or Kaido fit. These totaled out to be $195, that's right there. Next up, I got two more items, this white, almost like a performance dress shirt. So this one, they pressed it again for free. The total cost for this dress shirt was $135. And finally, probably my favorite pickup from their store are these trousers. I don't know if you can tell, it's almost like a, like a waffle print design. They're super breathable, super light. When you throw them on, they look like dress pants, but as you see up here, they're actually like sweatpants waistband so it's super comfortable probably my favorite pickup they did get these tailored the total cost for these were 290 almost 300 bucks okay so at walmart i was able to find a clean white polo the total cost for this polo it was five dollars it was on sale then i got these tailored at the tailor which you saw on the video these are uh ben hogan these are golf trousers so it's a very breathable blue fabric. So I figured it would match perfectly the last $300 pair of Hugo Boss. And it's almost very similar. It's very breathable, very comfortable. And as you saw in the tailoring shop, it was super baggy, but you're gonna be surprised at how it fits now. So these Ben Hogan solid color ones came out to 19.90, so 20 bucks. Next up, we have this white dress shirt. It's a George brand medium from Walmart as well. This was a classic fit and it even had a chest pocket, but I had my tailor remove the chest pocket so it looked more modern, more clean, and resembled the Hugo Boss. And I got it tailored as well as you saw from the store. And this one totaled out to be $13.68, so $14 for this white dress shirt. And then the final trousers, which you did not see me tailor, are another pair of gray trousers from that same brand called George. These also totaled out to be 20 bucks, got them tailored, and will resemble the gray trousers from Hugo Boss. Okay, so for outfit number one, let's start with the Hugo Boss. We're gonna go super dressy. We're gonna use the gray slacks, the white dress shirt, and some dress shoes. As you can see, obviously it is Hugo Boss. It looks super refined. I look classy, I look money, but also the outfit is stupid expensive. The pants were around 200, the shirt was around 140, so in total, it's about $350 to compose this outfit. Again, this is excluding the shoes. But say you don't have that type of cash, that's fine. I've always showed you guys, you can look just as sharp with little to no money and forgetting about name brands. So we went to Walmart. Here I'm wearing gray trousers from Walmart and a white dress shirt from Walmart. Both have been tailored. And as you can see the resemblance, it's pretty close considering that one out this outfit cost me 40, the other one cost me 350. Oh, Almost 10 times as much as the Hugo Boss and to the naked eye, if it's your interview, you're trying to impress somebody or a date, as long as it fits that well, 
they're gonna think you're just as successful and just as classy as the guy that's wearing Hugo Boss. But hey, maybe you don't believe me. Let's roll it on to something more casual. So here we have my tra these trousers from Hugo Boss that I really like. Like I told you, they're super expensive. Just the trousers themselves are $300 but it's a mix between a sweatpant and a trouser, so it's not only comfortable, but it also makes you look dressy. We pair that with that white polo something, again, laid back, simple, maybe for traveling. The total look here, $450, including the polo and the pants. Most guys don't wanna spend close to 500 bucks in one outfit, that's okay. So we went to Walmart. Here we picked up these golf trousers, which like I told you, I think resemble them pretty darn close considering it's Walmart. Since they're golfing trousers, it's a very light, breathable fabric, almost like a performance fabric, which feels just as comfortable and gives you the same aesthetic. It's a blue. We paired it with a Walmart white polo shirt. And again, the resemblance is pretty damn close. Since you executed the outfit so well, you're still gonna be turning heads without having to spend $500 or going for a name brand. I don't know about you guys, but I think this head to head came out pretty close and showing you once again, name brands and price can literally be thrown out the window if all you want is style. If that's the case, go to Walmart. So that's it boys. Let me know what you think. Comment down below, did it come out close? Do you lean to towards one side versus the other? Also comment down below if you want me to do any other store versus something cheaper. I'd love to keep this going. So if you guys like this video and found it informative, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, don't forget to check out our sponsor, Rose Gold and Black. They're going to be linked down below as well. That's it for me today. See you next time.